for joining me. Um, it's a sad day uh, for Cincinnati. Um, I was hoping to work out an exit deal with the manager, but obviously that uh, has faltered. Um, I want to be certain that people understand that there is a process involved and uh, there will be a fair and due process to how we go forward. And candidly, I expect it'll take um, a couple weeks because I want to make sure that everything I put out is um, thorough, exhaustive, and most importantly, I want to make sure that city employees are protected from retaliation. Um, I believe that the manager uh, needs to separate uh, from city service based on a pattern of behavior uh, over several years that has been uh, abusive and uh, in some cases retaliatory um, and uh, threatening and in some cases unprofessional uh, and in some cases uh, you know, it, uh, completely uh, inappropriate. I want to be clear that um, this will cover uh, several years um, and previous discussions that I've had with the manager um, about this behavior and the fact that I advised him uh, to cease and desist certain behaviors. Um, unfortunately, those uh, warnings were not heeded and uh, those behaviors are resurfacing and getting uh, more egregious. And I feel in good conscience that I uh, need to share all this with uh, the council uh, in order to decide uh, how to move forward uh, with the city. And I uh, um, certainly believe that everybody can and should um, uh, be able to get a full hearing in this. I want, to, I want to be clear about a couple things. I am very worried uh, that a number of employees right now, between now and the process, will suffer from retaliation. And I call upon city council uh, and the city manager to take no actions, no personnel actions, uh, during this difficult time. And we also are going to have to create if the council is interested in the truth, um, a safe space for employees to testify about the behavior that they've been subjected to over the years. And frankly, there are citizens uh, that have been subject to the similar treatment uh, who I will also come forward. Obviously, this is tragic and sad. Um, I've spent I've made no comments about all of this because I felt it would be better for the city and for Harry and his family uh, to peacefully negotiate an outcome um, for his sake and for the city's sake. And uh, it's certainly the case that many good things uh, have happened uh, under uh, Mr. Back's leadership, but the pattern of behavior that repeats itself continually uh, is, is, is too, just too much. Now, you, unless council gives you five votes, it's just a recommendation, right? That is correct. And I want to make it clear that council has not seen uh, or heard uh, the evidence. They know uh, certain things have happened, certain things haven't happened in conversations. But I want to take the time to have a full and comprehensive uh, picture uh, that I can present to council with substantiation. Uh, and notes over several years and to allow uh, several city employees and citizens the freedom and the protection to come forward and to make their case. John, this, if this has gone on for a while, why now as opposed to that was months ago, a year ago? Well, I mean, that's a great question, Jeff. And um, I want to be clear that I'll be able to demonstrate that I've confronted the manager about behaviors in the past. Uh, he's promised to change. Um, I have, um, I believe in second chances, I believe in third chances, I believe in fourth chances. Uh, but the behaviors continue to resurface and, um, and, and get worse. Um, and, you know, I do worry about um, the substance of 
not just the treatment, but the substance of the decisions. You know, I am deeply worried about uh, the decision-making process. Uh, you know, at the 911 center because it's a life and death situation. I am, um, as I made clear last week, you know, I am disturbed um, that there's more worry about a public audit being public than the uh, potential uh, abuse of tax uh, payer dollars. I'm concerned, you know, um, when I know, for example, uh, Paula Christian has asked for a contract from Center for Closing the Health Cat contract and can't get a public copy of a draft that has been issued. Um, I am concerned when uh, Sherry Coolidge and others from the Enquirer ask for documents. I know they exist and I tell them to produce them and they don't. And I believe that the public deserves the truth and the public's business deserves to be in public. And despite repeated uh, warnings that we can't treat the public like that or council like that, um, uh, I believe it's time uh, to go public. It's also the case that I have shared some but not all of the evidence with city council. And, and, and while I certainly appreciate, I think, the uh, ongoing support that Councilmember Smitherman and Murray and Pastor and um, Smitherman um, have provided in, in Mann uh, and Murray. Um, I, I believe that uh, City Council has to take accountability for these actions. And if they refuse to hold the manager accountable uh, for these behaviors, then um, you know that's on them, and and I and I I hope that they uh, worry as much as I do about the uh, the morale of the city workforce, um, the treatment of city workforce, and the fact that continuously you know uh, employees are coming to me quietly or privately and saying I can't take this anymore, and. And I know several of them are thinking about quitting and leaving, and uh, I think they're doing a good job for the city. And uh, I believe that if before uh, it becomes completely dysfunctional and uh, at the loss of the public good, I believe I've got to make this case publicly, and uh, I intend to. Now, because of the sensitive nature of it all and, the, and making sure it's accurate and thorough, um, and, and uh, it will take a week or two to pull it together. So, how, how many I, complaints have come forward that, that, uh, that you're aware of? I mean, I you know we're going to have at least a dozen people uh, explain behaviors that cover a variety of departments. You know, there is an unfortunate rumor out there that this is about uh, Bailey. It is not. I promise you that. I support Chief Isaac, and um, as I mentioned, I'm disturbed that the manager would make substantiated claims of corruption and rogue elements of the police department. And when asked by David Mann and myself and others to explain themselves, we received no substantiation. But, but my decision um, to start talking about an exit for the manager was not because of that um, isolated incident. Um, and it's certainly not because of Chief Isaac, uh, who I, uh, I have great admiration for. Last question. Mr. Mayor, I'm saying you know, change of behavior. People are going to say, can you give us some examples of what should these employees look out for as far as retaliation is concerned? What kind of behaviors are we talking about here? What is he specifically done? Yo, I think everyone knows that he has made uh, angry late night calls to people, uh, department heads who are afraid to come forward. I'm asking council to make sure that city employees who uh, will be protected and can tell their story publicly. And I worry, candidly, that council uh, will try to uh, brush these concerns of the city workforce under the rug. And I believe that that is very hurtful to the morale of city employees. And I believe it's hurtful to productivity. And I think it's hurtful to what's right for the city. And I, I say all this with a heavy heart. This is sad. Um, uh, I brought Harry here. We did some great things together. I think um, 
Uh, but, there are, but there are behaviors uh, that I've asked them to address that are repeating themselves and get becoming more egregious that are putting the public good at risk. Harry, Harry also mentioned racism as a part of, uh, or potentially in the police department. Have you seen any evidence of that? Well, I think there's two different issues. I've been uh, aware for decades that the city has progress to make on, on, on race, on all parts of government and the city in general. That's why I supported the collaborative agreement and called for the collaborative update and look forward to implementing the recommendations that Saul Green uh, uh, has made. But I certainly believe that questioning the use and potential abuse of overtime dollars it's not about race. It's about protecting the taxpayers. And I believe uh, that you know, the public is entitled to that information. And I, I, I don't believe it's uh, good to just deflect against answering those questions by leveling unsubstantiated claims of, of race. The four members that you list, go ahead, Jim, sorry. You talk, okay. about, like, you talk about the process. Can you yeah. lay out what that process is going to look like? I will prepare a written report with a, uh, a number of exhibits and uh, statements from a variety of people. And then uh, for those people who uh, I believe are too afraid to volunteer their statements, I will be asking them to openly testify in front of city uh, council uh, to the behaviors uh, that they have experienced. In public or how will that work? Yeah, in council, yes. The four members of council that you just listed a minute ago, do you have commitments from them that they will terminate the mayor? I haven't asked them to do that yet. Okay, that's Why did you mention yes. Thank you. Because they were supportive of trying to work out a peaceful 